Good morning everyone or good time of the day wherever you are or whenever you watch this stream. We are in New York, gloomy but warm New York and I'm waiting for you to join and we will begin. Cheers to you, to all of you. It feels like a warm spring day, perfect weather I would say. If it was a little sunnier, it would be even better, but I'm not complaining even about this weather. Do you know why Barbara's shop have these colors well someone might say that it's very patriotic because that's these are colors of american flag but no red is for blood and what uh, and blue is for something else so that's why they have that there used to be a pet store here i think that they uh where they where they were selling pets as well but now uh there is a new law which doesn't allow selling pets in the city, in pet stores. I don't know if uh, that law came in effect already or not, because it's a pretty recent one. But I think it's fair, because they treat them so badly. So if there is someone against horses in Central Park, well, pets are treated approximately the same way in stores in New York and most people adopt pets they don't even buy them in the city they adopt them anyway Anton Steven hello hello this is an uh, unexpected stream live stream the last one before uh, Valentine's Day before February 14th hello Robert and next time I might stream from a different place so please pay attention I usually stream at 2 p.m. New York New York time on Saturday well this Saturday highly unlikely will I stream at 2 p.m. New York time I might still uh, do a live stream if there will be something interesting where I am flying soon but it will definitely not be at 2 p.m. New York time on Saturday. So this week will be exceptional. And you still have time to guess where I will be. Maybe taking a car to, maybe walking, maybe flying, maybe taking a train to. So if you want, you can uh, write your guesses either at the end of this video uh, in comments or maybe now during live stream. And the, in the meantime, we're in Upper East Side, one of my favorite places in New York some car with sanitation car which makes more dust and dirt than cleans anything but to give credit to what's happening in New York these days uh, they have been uh, they, well I personally saw many more people cleaning streets this year and since the end of last year compared to any other years that I've been in the city wow almost like french parking where they park by moving cars uh, someone got a fine even though it's an md and they can uh, they can park even where other cars are not allowed to park but he still got a fine why because on mondays and thursday today's thursday you cannot park here between 11 a.m and 12 30 p.m and reasons being that side of the road is being cleaned uh, at this time on these days while the other side is cleaned on different well actually the same time but on different dates so that being tuesday and friday which is super weird but okay hello jim bond kissing cars well if you want to see kissing cars then go to paris they not only kiss but they hug they're on top of each other a fine for parking like that is 115 dollars plus you pay uh, what is called a convenience which is total inconvenient fee of approximately 2.5 dollars 
and I would like to say happy birthday to people who were born on this day which is the 9th of February and special happy birthday wish or wishes go to Lizzie I hope you will join me in congratulating Lizzie on her birthday a special day and the fine is not paid for several months you can can they pick up the car oh yes first of all uh, fines will pile up so it's not just one fine and the car can stay as long as they want uh, they check date of previous fines and then they can issue a new fine and then at the end of the day you will or in the end of the oh that's an interesting sign old school sign and uh, in the end of the month you will have a bunch of fines to pay and plus yes they can remove your car thank you hello dave and thank you so much for joining me and saying happy birthday to lizzie i'm sure when she watches this video it will be pleasant for her to hear it and to see that there are so many people there are, there are people who are wishing her well well anyway um, I will be next time I will probably stream so that will definitely not be tomorrow well highly unlikely but who knows but definitely on Saturday I expect to be in a place where something different something interesting something exciting will be happening uh, what was I doing previous days here in New York well yesterday just like the day before well not the day before but the day before before yesterday two days ago I went to see uh, filming so uh, George Clooney as you probably saw from shorts video and uh, Brad Pitt are, f uh, are filming in a movie called Wolves uh, temporally named for the movie is Unicorn I think they're just uh, mocking it making fun uh, movie set is happening only at night time uh, so ye not yesterday but two days ago and three days ago uh, it was in and before that so for the past week they were filming in Chinatown and then a uh, Chinese community they were really unhappy about uh, what was going on and too much attention in their neighborhood they are very uh, different type of people let's put it that way and so that's why uh, the movie set had to move then yesterday they were filming next to a uh, World Trade Center and if before in the beginning they were uh, really eager to give I mean main actors were eager to give um, their autographs and take pictures with people then um, because of what people were doing after well they were like the same people were taking autographs several times and then they were I would say abusing a uh, nice attitude of this amazing actors so uh, and that's why they said nope we're not doing it anymore but it was pretty cool to see how the whole thing was happening uh, what the like how many people are working to just set up one scene how many people are working behind the scenes and then that there were uh, doubles of these actors even doing really simple things such as like simply walking out of the door nothing more and they did it maybe like 20 times so with the main actor and then doubles were continuing to do continue to do it even after so that was a little surprising to me and uh the film director so the movie director of that i think a thriller it is they say that someone said that it's a comedy someone say say that it's an action movie I heard uh, I heard that it's also a thriller so definitely something exciting so this will be uh, so the film director of this movie is John Watts who, who is also um, director of spider-man movies so it's supposed to be something really interesting is it correct Anton hello Ruben hello Roberto hi everyone I'm only two uh, subscribers two followers away from 
reaching the level of 600 by now i wanted to have 500 followers so yeah definitely more in numbers so thank you for joining my channel if you are new if you just randomly saw this uh, uh, stream and you are lucky enough to uh, join it live or maybe you're watching it in replay please subscribe to my channel and if you like the this video or other videos on my channel thumbs up are really welcome trees are ready to bloom a lot of trees you already see have something like ready to to appear and make us happy because spring is around the corner but it's a little too early we're still in the beginning of february not even uh, the middle of it and last year was very deceptive that's when magnolia and many other trees died well not died but uh, they were injured i would say reason for that was that in march or even in april when temperatures dropped to almost negative all of a sudden and it started to snow trees didn't expect that hello miguel hi guys max super bowl what about super bowl is it happening now Is it correct, Anton, weather? Oh, and I think that anyone can try the weather option. So if you want to check weather in places where you are, or maybe in some other places where you know someone who lives, you can try put exclamation mark or exclamation point, write the word weather, then space, and then the name of the city or sometimes it also works if you put continent then space and then name of the city in the meantime we are walking towards central park this sign race plow that's for trucks who have um, who have it low to the ground and it's usually when it's snowing or when there is like something some construction going on or you know, like for cars that ha that are really lower to the ground, or cars that carry something that is low to the ground. And I already explained to you before what these uh, pieces of metal are. So whenever there is something going on, like someone, someone, uh, so gas is leaking or uh, steam that uh, the pipe that broke. So they dig in and then before they finish construction, they put such metal plates. So here specifically, it's Con Edison gas line upgrade. It's a very expensive neighborhood. So they have to be, to do better job here. No, they do equally good job everywhere. Well, walking towards Central Park, if you're interested in Central Park, I know we go there pretty often, probably more often than other streams or streamers. But if you still want to see Central Park, we can pass by it today. Do you want to go there? A lot toilet paper that matters. Good evening. Where are you, toilet paper? Because it's morning here. Hello, Kremen. Good to see you. Good to see people who already see, see and saw during other streams and good to recognize you guys beautiful weather i'm happy that i can wear some spring clothes in such weather uh, it's a little deceptive because it looks gloomy but it's still nice out and especially when there is no wind new york is perfect belgium mm -hmm. I'm thinking about going to Brugge, I think that's the name of the city, uh, in summer. Have you been there? Is it worth, uh, is it worth visiting? I love houses here. Most houses in this area are townhouses owned by one person or one family. This 
is uh, some other toilet brush. Uh, the one with the avatar was. Oh, I don't see uh, avatars of anyone here because I'm using a third party app. So, you know better. I think that there are two toilet, uh, there is a toilet brush, there is also toilet paper. I remember toilet paper from a uh, stream which I did at LIRR, Grand Central Station. This is the busy part of the city, that's where offices finish and apartment buildings start. Brugge is amazing. Uh, is there any other city in uh, Belgium that looks like Brugge, which you would recommend? And have you yourself been to Brugge, Max? Well, hello, Sergey. And so far, guys, no one guessed. I will tell you that much. No one guessed the right answer where I will be in just a couple of days from now. I will give you a hint. I will be taking an airplane, maybe two, to that place. Karan. Hello, Karan. For sure, here is paper and there is a toilet brush. <laughs> yes. But people, some people have really amazing nick, well, avatars, nicknames and all that. How creative. So peaceful here. You just step one block away from busy street and it's a new world. And look how amazing these buildings here are. We will walk uh, by zigzag. I'll show you a few more buildings around this area or we can jump in Central Park already. What do you prefer? watching from India. Wow, which part of India? India ha now has the biggest population in the world, even ahead of China. Yeah, a couple of times went there. To Brugge? Maybe you decided to visit Tibet? <laughs> I did decide to visit Tibet, but not this time. Yes, I've been there. Brugge has canals like Amsterdam and beautiful architecture and great food and chocolate. Well, I don't eat chocolate, but it's good to know. And the architecture is what attracted me. I was looking at something similar to uh, Strasbourg and I saw Brugge and I think that it's, it's more, mm, I would say German, even though I know it's in Belgium, but still it's uh, more like brownish buildings, not as bright. But um, if you know any other place similar to that, Max, please let me know. Lizzie, happy birthday! I just mentioned you earlier. That's the girl to say happy birthday to. <laughs> Hello. Today is a very special day for that girl. So what do we have here? Save 7th Regiment New York, 107th United States Infantry, uh, 1917 in memory, okay, in memory of 1917, 1918. So some war monument and we are going to inside Central Park now. It's big, Brugge is big. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Lizzie. I would sing a happy birthday song, but I don't want you to, I, I want you to be on my streams and to see you and I don't want if I sing, in that case, there are chances that you will never be back, so. But in my mind, that's the song I am singing right now. There are a lot of uh, uh, playgrounds for kids in Central Park, and in some of them you can even see celebrities. 
There is also an owl that used to be in Central Park Zoo, which is to our left. We passed by it uh, last time we were in Central Park, so that's not where we will go now. But an owl flew flew out of uh, of the zoo, and people are trying to catch that owl. It looks exactly like uh, an owl you would see in Central Park in general, with the only difference that this owl is not used to catching uh, food uh, in the wild. So it has not eaten since it has flown out. I hope they will catch it soon. I hope they will give, they will feed or that they will teach it to, to eat by itself. So if we see people with huge cameras, they are there for the owl. And owl, so the, uh, each year, I don't remember a year in the past, like five years, when um, I didn't see an owl in Central Park. You can also see, uh, there was last year even a white owl that was here not far from where we are now. And uh, on most days you see the same owl that flew out of Central Park Zoo now. Hello, Steelheart Van God Loss. Brugge is not big. Mont Saint Michel in France. Well, I, I lived in France. I went to Mont Saint Michel several times as well as Saint Malo. I know what Mont Saint Michel is, but it's not like Brugge. It's not like uh, Strasbourg. It's completely different. It's a castle on an island surrounded by water. Well, when I went there, there was no water around it, but it's not exactly the same. I also looked at uh, Colmar. Uh, there was a uh, uh, Annecy in France. I have not been to either of these places, but that's where I want to go and where I will go this summer, unless something changes. Slows down, is it just me? How is connection for everyone? Spring is around the corner. We have many hints of spring already. Beautiful, beautiful day today. Rick, hello. So you still have a chance to guess where I will be streaming from next time. That will not be from New York. Do you hear the sound of the bird? That bird is big blue bird and it's called Blue Jay. That's Balter dog. People love taking pictures with it. And some people name their Lycas and dogs similar to that, Bolta. A lot of uh, bridges and arches in Central Park, as you can see. Hello, Nasir. No snow this year. Well, there was snow yesterday, but that was during uh, filming. When they were filming a movie, if that counts. Communication is excellent, perfect. That's Balto, that is Balto. New Orleans or San Diego? Nope. Neither of them. And I did check the island, the, tex the island in Texas. I was surprised I never heard about it. Now I have it on my to visit list. Uh, it's a little... Like, if it snowed, once it started melting, it would be something like this everywhere. In New York and in America in general, people sometimes don't take their shoes off when they come home. And they don't change shoes as often. I mean, they don't have to replace shoes as often as they do in uh, places where it snows, like Russia, for example. But it's good, right? So it's always dry, as you can see. Also, it's dry because... Um, well, now here in Central Park, you see some soil, but in most places there is no, there are, there are not as many trees, there is not as much grass, and that's why it's always, it's always dry, plus it's always windy, so that helps as well. So, was I right where you were at? Where did you think I was in China? I took a picture in Chinatown. I didn't go to China, so the answer is no. And I was not anywhere yet. I will be soon. 
Frank the Tank, it's Volta. Yes, it is. And hello. Anton was cracking only coffee today. What? Rick, you start your day with vodka. What changed? I am from an old city named... Oh, gosh. Hertogenbosch. Whew. That's very difficult to pronounce. Is that in the Netherlands? Lizzie, happy birthday! Not, no, 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 no. Nothing about me. Rick, then I suggest you drink a cup of coffee or a cappuccino. I'm personally drinking Starbucks right now. Something really too sweet and too bad and too addictive, but what can I do? Now stop, it's sticky. I'm sorry, Rick. Not vodka. Of course, you start your morning with a tequila. I'm so sorry. How could I? There are raccoons there. Yes. And each time I'm in Central Park, I hope to see them. But uh, usually they go out when it gets dark. You have to be careful with them, though. This is the newest monument in Central Park. It's called Women's Right P uh, P Pioneers. And yeah, so this is to equal rights of women. And each bench, each bench without any exception here, it has a sign on it. Well, sign, uh, each sign costs at least $10,000. There is an office of Central Park, which is right behind us now. It's uh, located on Central Park, what is it, South? in one of the buildings behind and you can check who and when donated and which sign to the park so each of them regardless of number of symbols is at least ten thousand dollars if there is just one letter written or full text and sometimes it even exceeds several well, we can check. So they have by uh, so who, who donated ten thousand dollars, who donated more, and so on. So maybe one day we will go there and check. No, Lily is not with me because I'm taking a lunch break right now. I came to the office pretty early today, so now I take an early lunch break. So Lily is home. Uh, in the ramble raccoons are in the ramble so raccoons come out usually when it gets dark and usually they you can you have more chances of seeing them when it's warm but like now that leaves don't have sorry trees don't have leaves on them so that's when uh, uh, you can spot a raccoon on some tree usually not in this area usually it's in the middle of the park or you can also see it in the very beginning of the park, closest to 59th Street. So if you guys don't have no idea where you are and you want to uh, find your way in Central Park, well, it's simple to know on the level of which street you are and if you are closer to east or west. So just look at lights. You see the first two numbers, they stand for the closest street. To which you are so the closest to our, to our street now is 67th and then 54 don't pay attention to number five four is what you have to pay attention to that means so if it's two four six eight or zero you are closer to the east side which is to our right if it's one three and so on then you are closer to the west side which is to our left I don't know why Nightbot says that we watch the stream for one hour, even though it's been less than 30 minutes. Nightbot, wake up, please. The streaming is good. Perfect. Anton, I'll invest money in Starbucks if true. What did Anton write to you about Starbucks? 60 degrees tomorrow. Well, I will not be here tomorrow, but yahoo! It looks like it's a little windy today. Surprisingly, Lizzie, it's actually not windy today. It's one of the very few days when it's relatively calm. You see three letters, but each one costs approximately 
3300 dollars each letter because the full sign is at least 10,000 US dollars what happened to winter winter is gone it's so weird it's the first winter I remember like that makes me question what next winters will be like I still haven't really worn any like super warm winter clothes this year and I don't think I hope I won't have to take it out but at the same time I understand that I love places that have seasons because if you just live in a place like Florida the only season is uh, hurricane and not hurricane season that's all but it's summer year-round and it's way too hot and humid but when you can see like trust me we will walk here when spring spring will be here which will be March April like end of March late March beginning of April it will look completely different and it has its own charm uh, than summer summer is a you walk in the same place but you have absolutely different emotions you see different things and uh, I'm not speaking about fall or uh, autumn here which is probably one of the most beautiful seasons well it's not the most beautiful season when trees change colors it's it's amazing you will see it all so <laughs> subscribe not to miss it is there a Starbucks with vodka on sale special version for Rick well what Rick can do he can just uh, put a little oil or in Rick's case put tequila and just a shot of Starbucks and here you go Rick I charge you hundred dollars for the idea Natalia you speak English really uh, very well thank you Roberto if someone has not managed to subscribe yet then it's time yes it's best time for you to do so now now that we're walking approaching a very famous place Bethesda Terrace and fountain with an angel made by a woman it has a very nice story behind it I already said that during one of the other live streams just go back to it if you want to revisit it and all information can be found or can be heard listened to there that's Beethoven who is into music sometimes in winter they have like winter fair here where they put fake snow sometimes it's funny to see the fake snow with uh, the real snow there's more real snow than fake but still they uh, regardless of the of weather outside they still bring fake snow and they and the kids can uh, um, go on the ride they can go skiing or whatever they do here they also have um, ice sculptures here but this year i think it was supposed to to take place either last weekend or sometime around then but they canceled it because it's too warm so they have rebuilt this very famous stage and in summer there are free concerts well they're relatively free so some people are invited and they can take seats they have uh, some sort of invitations I think they are free but I don't know I need to check where they got them but also people who pass by can just watch from afar and it's also equally good 600 subscribers Yahoo! we reached that level thank you guys that's another person connected in relation to music Schiller we will not walk down Bethesda Terrace because I'm afraid that connection will get worse so we'll just go on top of it but I will show you the fountain which is now switched off but it will be in full force in summer or even spring you hear that like the most noisy bird is probably blue jay beautiful bird is that the only statue made by a woman in new york no but that's one of the first statues that was made by a woman in new york uh, back in the time when uh, um, such big projects were only approved for men so that was impressive 
Uh, oh. Please recommend uh, this channel so it gets to 1,000 followers. Thank you, Lizzie. That's the owl, but that's not the owl that escaped from the zoo. It's a different one. There is a different animal on the other side of the stairs. It's very peaceful and not crowded in Central Park now, but usually in summer when the weather is nice, even at this time of the day, well, now it's about lunchtime. I'm actually surprised that it's so not busy at all. Usually there are so many people, you can hardly walk here. Today feels like spring. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of days, we, could, we can say this about a lot of days this year, this winter in New York, really unusual weather. You see fog in New York very often in Manhattan. It's especially nice when it covers skyscrapers. Oh, you hit 600. Yoohoo! Me and all of you. Not real snow, fake, fake, not real snow, fake monks. But what is real in New York? Well, there are plenty of real things. New York by itself is a real deal. I'll tell you that. So that's the fountain. In summer, you also see uh, boats swimming behind it in the lake. Not just in summer, but when the weather is nice. There is a um, boathouse to the right. And that's where you take the boat. And that's where we will go now as well. But first, I will show you what the terrace looks, which is right under us now. But we won't go under it so that we don't lose connection. There are a lot of speculations about horses. They don't look very healthy. They are not treated the best. That's why you see a lot of people protesting that there are horse horses in the park. But they're still there. Nothing has changed. The only time when they were not here was in 2020 and 2021. Part of 2021 for obvious reasons. Because there were no tourists. Carlos, hello. I usually don't take Starbucks these days that too often, but I don't know why. It's been almost every day that I decided to drink Starbucks. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, so this is Bethesda Terrace. There is a sign about it, which we will come close to. Beautiful, beautiful view from it to it. And you can even see on columns here, same signs with streets. So we're now closest, closest to 61st Street. One of the rare times when no one is playing anything here, but I think they soon will. Nice. Uh, this is a place where uh, new, newly married couples love taking pictures. And not just them, a lot of photo sessions also take place here. And this is the sign for Bethesda Fountain and Terrace. Designed by, by Culvert Vore and Jacob Ray Mold. The stairways, terrace and fountain were focal features of the original plan for Central Park by Vore and Frederick Law Olmsted. The fountain sculpture by Emma Stebbins, that's the lady who I mentioned to you. Inspired by the biblical account of the uh, miraculous pool of Bethesda and it was installed in 1873. So there were several seconds without music. I think the only other time when I didn't hear music play here was when I, when I passed by it really late at night. Park is supposed to close, to be closed for, um, for the night, but I never saw it closed. I never also saw anyone, pe like people who work in park or police, to ask people to leave it at night. 
So that's the fountain. Hi, Carlos. That's a good area to sing, yes, because of the acoustics. It makes it unbelievable, something you won't forget. 200 points for Starbucks Rewards Drink Effective Monday. Uh, oh, instead of 150, are you saying? Is the spark dangerous uh, by night? I would say, like personally, I would not walk here at night by myself unless I really had to because it's super dark like it's not you don't even see you see there are no lights around especially some areas and I did hear some bad stories so I would not recommend walking here at night Chinese melody yes Chinese person playing Chinese melody the terrace I will sing one day there can you sing Roberto well so far it's a bird that is singing there are Canadian geese that are flying and I don't think it's really warm now for turtles but in summer there are so many of them uh, lay eggs when I did not know that I've, I've been trying to save a lot of turtles I later learned that it took them I see that connection is dropping but I see that we are back. So that's Cardinal Bird. Hello, Ali from Iraq. Yes, Natalia going 100, uh, from 150 to 200 points on Monday. Starbucks has become really, really bad. I love Starbucks. But first they increased price for a drink by... Uh, well, it was from... Well, my specific drinks for a drink from five dollars twenty-five cents in one year they increased it to seven, seven ten. Let's say that's a lot in one year. So they increased it four times during one year. Now they are doing these two points. I mean, come on, come on, man. I I saw that it was buffering, but I hope we are back. Wow, geese are flying flying away or flying to New York I have a question about groundhog so groundhog predicted six more weeks of winter well duh because in six weeks it will be officially end of March when winter will be over but does anyone check after that groundhog like if he was ever right or not or do people just listen at the time off and no one cares after starbucks is trash support local businesses well i'll tell you that starbucks is local it, it comes from america even though in uh, other places in the world we have tried it except for mexico mexico it like they made it at the airport and it was so bad they remade it and it was even worse um I think that it tastes better and it's cheaper. It's at least 35% cheaper than it is in at least New York. Groundhog is shitty. <laughs> but it's funny because I don't know if he... If that's ever correct or if someone says, Oh, the groundhog was right. They only listened to groundhog at the time off. But then no one speaks about it. Okay, so that's the boathouse and we will go to Alice in Wonderland after that. More geese are flying. What's going on? So many. We're in Canada. These are Canadian geese. Crazy. Thank you, Ali. Stream froze for a couple of seconds, then it recovered. Good. I like the second part, the latter part that it recovered. Hello, squirrel. Hello, second squirrel. Uh, in uh, Russia, squirrels are brownish. Here you see this, this color of squirrels as well as black squirrels. Black squirrels in Central Park, you can only see in some areas. I don't know why, but it's not 
that you like you can see them throughout the whole park and that's a place where you can take a boat once they open they usually open well when weather is good and you can only pay for this boat with cash so you pay a couple of years ago before covid before the pandemic it was 15 dollars per hour now it's 20 dollars plus you give 20 dollar deposit which is returned to you if you return the boat then there is also a gondola this huge long gondola just like in italy in venice and you can take it for a different price than the boat and you wouldn't be able to drive it yourself you are being driven that's yet another bridge you'll swim rick you know how to swim in the evening it is probably dangerous here it i wouldn't yes i think it's not safe so that's where you pay and if the weather is really nice and especially if it's a weekend day then it's the line is so long you can wait for more than an hour so people just turn away and leave boathouse boathouse consists of two parts one is um, a part where there, there was a cheap restaurant uh, like really like really good like home type of food but for really good price especially for new york and the other and the other part which is a more sophisticated restaurant with more with higher prices uh, or there is also a bar where people um, either waited for their table or just came to get a drink and this part which is only a bar that is outside well i should speak about it all in the past because last year they decided to close this boathouse they also had different events here including like some weddings like high-end weddings uh, and there is a bathroom so you ask him about public bathroom so whenever i pass a public bathroom i'll show it to you so that's one of them and it's free last year they decided to close a boathouse even though they negotiated whether they would close or not there was also one uh, investor or one a person who wanted to donate several million dollars just to keep that boathouse open but the city said nope uh, and he wanted to to remain anonymous but the city still denied or declined his offer and they closed down boathouse last year i'm sure that it was done for a reason which reason we will know once they reopen it or redo it uh, to put something new in here but it's very very sad i used to like to get a bar i used to get barley soup here uh, also there was really good cider like hot which is hot apple juice um and all other food honestly was really really decent like really good here so if you guys are looking for raccoons sometimes areas to see an area one of the areas to see raccoons uh, is here also because there is trash here and they come out at night to get some food hello Jorge Omar Central Park Marvios Manhattan mm -hmm. shall we go to the toilet not today okay uh, but that is danger if you don't know how to swing what do you mean by swing? How to swim? National park. That's not national park. I don't think so. Oh, some raccoons are not friendly. No, you have to be really careful with raccoons. They can be, uh, they can have some diseases. They can be wild, but you just need to know what to do and how far to stay from them. But they, I've never seen them attack people. So that's the area where you can see them sometimes. But yeah, you have to be careful. But that's with all wildlife, right? I'll show you some flowers here and then we'll head to next place. So these are winter spring flowers. What are they called, Anton? Uh, it is useless to compare with our public toilets. Oh yeah. In Russia, they're very specific photos from around new york 
Uh, this is the ramble. Maybe we can find the owl. There are a lot of bird feeders here. Uh, bird feeders are to the right and that's where we will go. I did not know that it was called ramble though. But we'll go there to the bird's place if you are interested. An owl is usually, I didn't see, like usually Central Park uh, posts something on Instagram or on other social media about like owls and something unusual. By the way, this boat house, it used to have a book where uh, people could write which birds, when and where they saw around here. Well, it's gone now. And yes, there is a place where they feed birds. What they do is they usually put peanut on trees and uh, like some food in special places. And yes, there are plenty of birds. These are Russians. I did not know that it was called Ramble. Now I know. That's where we will go. And this is a nice walk to take. Because uh, even if it's really crowded in the rest of Central Park, here specifically, it's always empty. And people usually walk on uh, our main part, um, where there is asphalt. But here it's also interesting and you can just, if you want a secluded place, but which is safe at the same time, that's, that's the place to go. Sometimes people smoke weed here, like in a lot of places in the park. It's not allowed and police and the security try to catch these people. I think it's in general not allowed to smoke anything in parks and in some other places in New York, but sometimes people don't care. And then it kind of like loses a feeling of tranquility and serene and like relaxation but yeah on other days like now it's perfect i remembered how a red stole a diamond necklace from a store what oh you mean oh yeah i, I understand what you what you are talking about what was sent today now i get it flowers are called snowdrops that's correct so that's a nice place. If we go, I know what that tremble is behind us. We'll go there after, but I'll show you one more place where you can find a secluded place and sit in peace. If you go to Central Park, that's here. And if you want to see Bethesda Terrace and Fountain from afar, but that has a really nice view to it, it's also from here and the bridge the famous bow bridge which i personally call kissing bridge because you see so many couples kiss there and right behind there is a dakota building now that there are no leaves on trees you can see it clearly and it looks amazing but in summer you cannot really see it that well Anapushka, hello! Beautiful New York. Have you ever been, Ali? People sometimes get too close there. Too close to what, Roberto? It's a good place to make Halloween movie. Is it scary? Is it that scary? It looks like the lake is a little frozen, which surprises me as it's not cold and it hasn't really been cold yeah some places in central park are still not the not the places unless you know the park really well unless you can swim really well not no i'm just uh, kidding it's not as bad but uh it's better like if you're not uh like so sure where to go it's better to not go to places here so we can go all the way down there we will be turning here but you can have an idea of what's here and what to expect when you are here all right so now we will go to the ramble about which so many of you wrote to me today hello rough beautiful place there yes and there is another road which you can take which is right here but again if you hear some noise and you don't know whether it's uh, what where it's coming from usually it's a squirrel it can be a raccoon or it can be some other bird now that there are no leaves you can see through and you can see pretty far 
So this place, I will tell you, that is one of the safest, the most, the safest place in the in Central Park. Just don't come here when it gets dark. And you can hear birds sing. You can still hear the city, like loud cars. But unlike in the city, you can hear birds. I hope to be back before the end of the stream. It was a pleasure to walk in your company, but it's time for me to leave. Enjoy watching everyone. Thank you, Anton. We will wait you next time. For you next time. We'll see you next time. In winter and in spring, there are several places where you can see, uh, like, it's not exactly a waterfall, but that looks what looks like a waterfall. I'll show you. I'll show you a couple of more, couple more places. But first, ramble. Uh, so I was saying that there is a book which people, where people wrote down birds that they saw, or any other wildlife. There are a lot of hawks in Central Park, and sometimes you use well, hawk is a wild bird, and sometimes uh, you see how a hawk and people who don't like to listen to the things please cl close your ears for a few seconds so how a hawk dives for a bird or a squirrel and then what happens next more geese are flying so it's really wildlife uh, what i like in america is that even in new york even in a place like busy city like new york where um which you imagine to have like skyscrapers and busy life right not something like wild in the wild you can see anything i saw um a possum here no was the, was the possum yes i saw a possum here i saw skunks here i saw uh not exactly in the city but a little outside of the city i saw deer and all that not in the zoo i don't like zoos i know that animals that i kept not in the wild live longer but i just don't like animals and like who cannot like live life to the full so that's why i feel sorry for them sometimes raccoons can hide inside trees like old trees like in the stem of that tree they can be a raccoon so we're approaching the ramble but what i like about new york is that you don't have to go to the zoo to see wildlife it's all here So that's the first place where there are many birds. They put food for birds here. But these are mostly small birds and squirrels that come to this place. And bigger birds. I'm not sure if they will be there now. And raccoons, yes. They're usually at this ramble place. There are so many leaves on the ground and I like that they don't move them away because it keeps roots of trees warm. Also, uh, usually leaves fall in November. By beginning of December, there are no leaves on trees. This year, well, last year now, was exceptional. Even in the middle of December, there were still green leaves on trees. This season, this winter, this this year has been completely different from other years so that's the ramble place as we will turn you will see it better but i don't see any people with big cameras or so anything like that that's why uh, there's definitely no owl here and owls don't usually sit uh, on trees like that they usually sit on trees uh, that have some sort of leaves or something that covers them yeah there are places for where birds can eat. Rex games. It's the best way to see big wild animals in the zoo. Yes, if you want to save time and if you don't want, if you can see it somewhere else, then yes. But I personally don't like that. Not that I haven't been to the zoo, but I just don't like it. Plus in the, in the zoo, you are sure to see them, you know? Well, here you don't know whether you will or not. Or who you will see so you see how many bird feeders there are here and so many different birds but they are too quick for me to even show you your signal is great perfect 
Is that the ramble you were speaking about, guys? Gosh, these birds are beautiful. Let me try to zoom in. Look. And there's so many. Yes, got it. So let's walk a little towards the waterfall and then I will, um, I'll show you Alice in Wonderland. Not finally got a great signal. Wait, I didn't have it before. Was the signal bad before? Sometimes you see, among other animals, rats that eat here too. But, I mean, they're animals too, they're also part of li wildlife. So even a bench as old and as different as this also has a sign which says, well, someone's family foundation. And it's also worth at least 10,000 euros or dollars. You would see a lot of people here with cameras and with binoculars. They love to look up at birds and find something unusual. And last year on this tree, you could see a lot of times a raccoon. So he was just, he had his leg hanging. It was pretty cool. Do squirrels kill birds or only eat their eggs? I know they fight with birds like crows and ravens. Well, I have never seen a squirrel kill kill a bird or like a mouse or a rat. I don't know if they usually do, but I've never seen it. So that's kind of a waterfall. There's a lot of water here now, but if we come here in summer, it's almost all dry. Or maybe we won't go to Alice, back to Alice in Wonderland. We'll just go on. Oh, maybe we will. Let's see. I'll just uh, walk with you on Bow Bridge now. And maybe from there we will go to see Alice. Natalia, how do you feel walking in the ramble? I love the ramble. I love wildlife that's why when i see birds and when it's so peaceful and not many people it's perfect there is a pond there's another nice place close to here with another waterfall let's first go there okay today we have a, a nature walk in central park and I know Central Park really well, like I would never be able to get lost here. I know every single path of it. They have miles and miles of passes in Central Park. But I know every single corner here. And not a lot of people come here, even in summer. So if you want all the park to yourself, come here. Squirrels and pigeons battle for those breadcrumbs <laughs> do you feed birds Rick? i bet you don't well it's hard to feed birds if you don't leave home right Rick? so a stream is always here so you can walk along the stream in summer you see people sit on rocks to our left and just read a book or have lunch. Sometimes people come here just for lunch. Steve Jobs used to, well, he bought an apartment in this building or building next to it, but he never, he was not able to live in one of this, in, uh, in his apartments here, because unfortunately he passed away before they were renovated. So another good place to see birds is on a wooden bridge which we will pass now birds and squirrels and bigger birds than i've seen in the rumble there's no one here now but that's the place 
I've seen it in my backyard. Oh, I see. So that's the place. There are woodpeckers, there are cardinals, there are plenty of big birds here, usually, and squirrels that go on top of the of that bridge. And you see, and you see why all these are peanuts. If I were a squirrel, squirrel I would live here. That's another waterfall that is probably the biggest waterfall not probably but that is 100 percent the biggest waterfall gosh what is wrong with you today like why are you flying away from here birds so that's the biggest waterfall in central park uh prospect park which is in brooklyn it kind of mimics central park there are also waterfalls there is also a building that does look like a boathouse but it's there just for events uh, so one day we will also go there. So see that stream which we just saw? It passes here. Galina, hello. Hello, Naim. Clayton Lopez, hello. So and it falls into the lake. So that's what it looks like from here. And let's see if we see... Ag again, there are no lights here. That's why... Uh, to answer your question if it's dangerous here or not when it gets dark yes because what makes it not dangerous people who you see during the day plus lights no lights not safe right so you can walk close to that stream slash waterfall so that's where the waterfall is I was wondering, maybe we can go a little higher. There's another place with a beautiful bridge. Yeah, we do have to go up and down a little. If we continue straight for maybe 10 more minutes, we'll get to one of my favorite places in Central Park and the only place in Central Park which has wild rabbits. No one knows about it. I myself saw it just randomly. I thought that this was one of the rabbits that escaped from the zoo. I started searching for it. I did not find any information about rabbits that escaped, but I did read that uh, uh, there are rabbits in Central Park. And I walk a lot, and I walk a lot in Central Park specifically, and that was the first time when I saw a rabbit. But then later I learned that rabbits only stay in one area and that's by Shakespeare Garden if you guys know where this is we won't get as far as Shakespeare Garden today but we will get there eventually there is also a nice castle Belvedere Castle which I will show you next time and now to nice bridge in Central Park thank you Anna Pushka thank you Madeleine in summertime some people get lost walking there well it's easy to get lost here i know this park really really well i can be your tour guide in that park again a sign which is 7705 so 77th street is the one we are now closest to as we are getting closer to the bridge i'll tell you uh, what i will be posting in shorts probably shorts video later today maybe so the other day when i wanted to take a train I hardly ever take subway in New York so when I wanted to take a train I saw a lot of people like standing on top where uh, on top of the uh, escalator elevator no escalator and stairs I'm like why what is happening and they, they were watching they were looking down so a homeless guy and when I, when I say homeless most of the time in New York it's not homeless not someone who needs a place to to sleep in or who is a needy person so that's usually style of life they decline help a lot of times so um that time there was a homeless slack slash drug addict 
who fell in between cars and uh, poli uh, they, they, he was being rescued so he was taken out of there so they stopped all trains and uh, yeah so there was uh, one lady who didn't speak a word of English she was lost because for people especially from places where there is no subway no metro no underground no tube call it whatever uh, it's very easy to get lost really simple and she was lost and at a loss and she didn't know what to do she didn't know who to who to ask for help and had I not been uh, on the station where it happened I would have never known what was going on because there were no announcements uh, trains were just not running so it was crazy and I did to take some uh, videos which as I said I would be posting the guy's safe so he's okay he's just on drugs but he he'll be fine America is a place where, God forbid, something happens. Uh, there are people who arrive almost immediately and you can be sure that these people will most likely be saved. So that's another place to see raccoons here. Hello, friend. How long have you been living in New York for? I've been living in New York for almost 11 years. In a, in a little more than a month, it will be 11 years. Hello, Dmitry. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Anton, you're still here. Light, Anton. Just light. So that's a nice bridge. Surprisingly, no one on it now. But it's usually full of crowds, tourists and people taking great shots. Sorry for the sound, I'm wearing something that looks like heels, but I hope it doesn't prevent you from seeing what I'm showing you. And this, on this bridge, I forgot the name of this bridge. This is also called the Ramble? That's weird. Uh, but from this bridge, you see one of the best views to Manhattan. It's a little foggy now, that's why it's not very clear, but I hope you get the idea. So if we turn left, no, sorry, if we turn right, we would get to Shakespeare Garden, Shakespeare Theater, where in summer they have free uh, plays, but not today. So we're closer now to the west side and not the east. That's why where we saw the light, it was 7705, which means it's clo closer to the west. And street, which is to our right, it's called Central Park West street which is where you saw skyscrapers just now is called central park south i guess i don't need to explain to you why right so here again we're closest to 77th street and 01 one so odd number is for west and lights which are along this road where there is marathon where there are um, people on uh, bicycles, people on different other things with wheels. Um, so these lights, they also have numbers, but their numbers, so also like first two numbers are for the closest to us street and second number, second two numbers, they go in, uh, in order. So this is zero two, next one will be zero three and so on. all that stamping that uh not do you have anything against me wreck so simple light mm -hmm. something is going on with birds today they are very loud and there are so many geese and all these geese are canadian geese so that's yeah i think this is the building where steve jobs bought an apartment but never managed to live unfortunately and I will uh, share with you one other place which I love in Central Park. It's um, it's not a terrace. It's like um, well, you'll see to you you'll see, you'll see yourself what I'll show you. Lucas, hello. I now recognize everyone who is a frequent here. In the beginning, I was writing down not to forget, and now like I know you.
I guess I should make breaks sometimes and read your comments while I'm taking a sip of Starbucks because by the time I finish streaming, sorry, my drink from a hot drink becomes like an ice drink. And the place where we are now, that's exactly the place where helicopters, there are plenty of tours by helicopter, which I have not seen even today, not one. Uh, that's where they turn. Nan Nandini Sina. Hello. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I had good intentions. Alcohol I can't at work. I am wait, what? Oh Lucas uh Rick is suggesting that you buy uh, that you drink alcohol with him. Well Rick is suggesting this to everyone. Are you ever sober, Rick? Oh, nice! Beautiful! Hey! Hold on, hold on! Congratulations, and you look pretty! I'm right here! <laughs> Come with me! <laughs> So that's the place where which I was talking to you about. Now it even is nicely decorated for a wedding. So anyone who wants to get married today but doesn't have um, wedding decorations, you have a chance to come here. They even left something behind. Isn't that nice? And it also has a nice view to Manhattan. And in summer or when it's warm. There are plenty of turtles here, so you can have this for your photo shoot as well. No, don't take this turtles, I'm just kidding. We'll see them once when we pass by when it's warmer. Maybe more than once. No, I'm not. I thought so. Nice. I'm on coffee mode. Wait till Friday night. Friday night is coming. It's approaching so fast. Uh, it's not easy to walk on a road like this wearing hills so that's where all the turtles come out to in warm on, on a warm day maybe we'll still see some no i think they're sleeping are we back i saw that connection was jumping but ho i hope we're back now there are fish in the pond. There are plenty of fish in the pond, from small to huge, but fishing is not allowed. In general, to fish in New York and in many other places in America, you need to have license. You need to have special permission. You need to have license. And specifically here, even in places where you can fish, by law, you must let the fish go. But I don't think in this place you can even do that. We are back, good. So this is the view. Imagine the same view with blue sky and the sun shining. Mm -hmm. This is Dakota building where John Lennon lived and at the entrance to which he was killed by his fan. And there is a place to remember John Lennon in front of it. It's called Strawberry Fields by the name of the song. And the epicenter of this place is called Imagine. There are two days when uh, uh, most people gather in this spot. That's when the day of his birth and the day of his death. And they say that uh, Yoko Ono, who is his widow, who now lives in Japan, but she used to live in this building before the pandemic, Maybe she's back now, I don't know, but she's old, so I don't think she's traveling that too much. So she donated a million dollars to uh, open a place that, uh, that where people could remember 
her husband. And they did not want to put anything with the face of John Lennon for one reason, because she wanted it to be interactive. She did not want it to be where people would just look, stare at him and do nothing. She wanted it to be where a place where people would come, uh, speak about him, uh, sing his songs, share memories and all that. And this is what it is now. It is a legend, but I think it might be somewhat true since John Lennon loved to walk in that place. It was also his will that his ashes were spread around the strawberry fields. I think it's not wrong. It's not confirmed, but it seems right. I think maybe like part of his ashes were blown out in this area. So if you are Beatles or John Lennon fan, I definitely recommend that you come here. We are we were there already with one other stream, so I won't stop there now. We won't turn there, but maybe one other time when we will have a tour around Upper West Side, that's the place where I will show you separately, okay? We are back. The duck there. There are ducks, there are geese, there are many birds now here in the river. You think his ashes are in the river or you are speaking about duck that is in the river? Uh, during the pandemic when there was not a lot of people and there were not a lot of people outside, all the people could be found in Central Park. Whether they were wearing masks, without masks, but so many people were in Central Park. And looking at Central Park, you couldn't even believe that it was the pandemics. The pandemic. Uh, but uh, one thing that uh, was different here during the pandemic is under that, I would say, bridge or whatever this, this is, what we'll be passing soon, since uh, you couldn't have a haircut uh, in a salon, salon because they were closed, but uh, people uh, got their sometimes free, sometimes for a price haircuts here. So barbers uh, sat here and yeah. It was interesting. It was definitely a different New York from the one we're used to seeing. Thank you, Clayton. I appreciate it. Natalia, have you ever watched Gabe, the walking commuter? He does stream here every Wednesday. He was also born in Russia. No, I think that someone, maybe it was you, Frank, maybe it was someone else, wrote to me about another Russian streamer. But no, I thought it was NYC Walker, who, who I was watching, because he's also like foreign, but he didn't look Russian, so... And he's not Russian. Frank, I know that you do write to me after my streams, so do you mind please writing uh, the name, like how I can find that person, because I might forget. And he walks or she walks in Central Park or in other areas of the city as well. I'll show you my favorite monument in Central Park. This is not a monument, not a very common monument or not a monument you see uh, anyway about Central Park pretty much, maybe like really, but I'll, I'll share it with you. Well, first of all, there is a Webster mon monument to Webster here. Uh, Webster is, if you know dictionary, Webster dictionary, that's the guy. That's him. Thank you, Frank. I love that there are no leaves now because you can see much more. So that's Webster. You can say hi to him. And he's looking directly at the monument, which is my favorite in, the, in Central Park. not far from him it's also another place where people love taking pictures it's a little tough to get to it can be a little muddy but I'm surprised there is no one there now because it's usually tough to get like to get close to because of the number of people there 
please show us Starbucks. Starbucks is always with me and I need to take a sip now. So that's my favorite monument. I still need to read about it. There are free maps which you can get throughout the whole park. And to find them, you have to find a place which is like that or similar to that and get a free map. Then there are also people who uh, give you these free maps, like, like random people who are doing it illegally. Um, well, they give you free maps for a fee. Usually it's five dollars. So they find a place like that before you, they get maps there and then they sell them. It's illegal. And that's the monument. I'm trying to be careful because there are people with electric bikes and other bikes. So there we go. Also a nice view. I promised uh, uh, you that we would walk on Bow Bridge. But we're a little... We made a... We took a longer route than I expected. So we're now going back to the Bow Bridge. People in a carriage are really happy and the driver of a horse who is also at the same time time a tour guide looked unhappy so one of the jobs of people who drive horses is to tell people uh, okay in this building these people lived or that person still lives in that this and so on uh, speaking of uh, the building where who lives so I showed you where uh, Steve Jobs bought an apartment. I showed you the building where widow of John Lennon lives. Well, the same building is where Madonna was trying to buy an apartment, but she was not allowed to live there because of her lifestyle. So regardless of how much money you have, that doesn't buy you neighbors. <laughs> so they, her and many other people uh, were not they didn't pass um, approval of the board of the building to live in Dakota building. That's the name of it. So that's the bow bridge and uh, trees which you see that surround us now. Well, that's cherry. And in the, in the end of March, beginning of April, when you speak about cherry blossom in New York, come here because this is the most beautiful looking place in addition to Roosevelt Island. If you guys have not watched my stream from Roosevelt Island, I recommend that you check it under live streams and you watch it. It was very informative. It was a very, I personally think it was the best stream that I've done so far. So I recommend that you watch it. And since I'm mentioning this, please, I want to also mention at the same time uh, that you can subscribe to my channel if you are new, if you like uh, uh, New York, if you like interactive streams and for, your, for answers to any of your questions to be answered, that's my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video and any other videos that you watch on my channel, please put thumbs up slash like and you can comment, you can ask questions, everything will be answered. Hi, Leonid. So that's the bow bridge. And now we will walk to Alice in Wonderland. Geese are very active today. They're definitely trying to deliver some message to us. dogs. I just saw a dog on the leash here. Central Park is one of the very few places where it's allowed to have dogs off leash. But during a specific uh, period of time in the evening and during the morning and only in specific areas, not everywhere. If they see that a dog is not leashed, you can get a fine. We already passed a few cars, Park uh, Central Park like small car, cars, uh, well, people in these cars, they are allowed to give you a fine, not just police. They have authorization. So if you have a dog, it's 
better to have your dog, your pet, leashed. Now it's windy. Do you know, so we were close to this place, but we walked on the other side. So once we, uh, in two minutes, which place that we already passed, will we, will we be next to? And these are snowdrops. What a beautiful bridge. Mm -hmm. People who know magnolia tree know that magnolia usually has one color, right? So it's like pinkish. Sometimes it's light pink, sometimes it's dark pink, sometimes it's purple. And this one, it's also a magnolia tree, but it blooms yellow. So when it will start blooming, you will see how nice it is. And it smells, it, it, the smell is really delicious. So if you know, imagine a jasmine tree or jasmine bush. So that smell, but times, like many times stronger. So it's, it's unbelievable. And considering that New York is a place where flowers don't really smell, I don't know if the polluted city takes all the smells or something. Uh, when you smell something like that, it's amazing. Is anyone here? Is connection fine? Can someone write something? I don't know if you guys are sleeping, if you're just listening, if you're just watching, or if there is no connection. Okay, there is connection. Perfect. Thank you. So I will take it as you listening attentively to what I'm saying and watching what I'm showing. And it's windy. So we already passed Bethesda Fountain and Terrace. Now we'll take a different route and we see more and more uh, snow drops flowers, white flowers in this area and trees to the right these are all magnolia trees this also looks amazing in summer in summer in spring connection is great good and you can see on well you can it's a little high but you see that uh, some flowers from magnolia from last year uh, they died so they look like brownish dry that's when uh, uh, it suddenly became very cold when the when the flowers were about to open but they started blooming in October instead which is absolutely nonsense so that's Bethesda Terrace I can't believe that at some point in history this place was a place for dr like where they um, a pass for drug addicts where they exchanged drugs or like exchanged money for drugs and thank God it has been restored to what we see now the Chinese guy is still playing there and we're walking to Alice and Central Park is all about small details look have you seen have you ever seen this a bird in a nest with a baby bird just coming out to life music yes don't always have time to write well good it's good to be busy also speaking of details birds how many birds do you see here like no one really pays attention to this but look one bird two birds three in the middle four five six seven eight garlic for some reason like no one really pays attention to this people just pass well one other thing which is interesting i first noticed it when i was in russia but then i started noticing this in america as well in new york so when you see marble, pay attention to this because sometimes you can see fossil that is hidden in marble. 
Okay. So now we are going back to east side. Uh, uh, I'm thinking whether I should show you a place to the right or Alice in Wonderland. Okay, let Alice in Wonderland be replaced with something different today since I already showed her in one of the other streams. You can just check that video from Central Park. But now I'll show you what also is not widely advertised or you don't really see a lot when you look for something related to Central Park. Well, in summer, there are free concerts. To get uh, tickets to free concerts, you have to check website, which is called one iota.com. So there are events uh, where they give tickets, if approved, uh, for free to different people. And it can happen, it, it takes like different uh, things to happen in different cities, in different states. Uh, sometimes in New York. So in summer there are, I think it's Good Morning America concerts that take place here. I'll show you where and next to what. And guys, this stream will be ending soon. So before it does, not to lose me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow, I hope in a day from now, I will be in a totally different location. It will not be New York. So far, no one guessed correctly where I will be. So you will see it for yourself tomorrow or probably the day after tomorrow, Saturday. So don't forget to subscribe. I'm giving you a few seconds to do that. And that's the place which I wanted to show. Also secluded. Also above everything crazy, but what people pass by without noticing it. And in summer and fall, early fall, trees here bloom like have purple flowers. Nice place. And that's where summer concerts take place. That's not the entrance from which you can enter, entrances are on the other side. But on other days, it's just a field and it's called Ramsey Playfield. Well, anyway, Washington, nope. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Happy birthday to Lizzie. Have a nice evening if you're in Europe or where it's late of if you're in Asia or wherever it's late uh, have a good day the rest of the day for people who are here on this continent or where it's daytime now and good morning for people who are just waking up don't forget to subscribe to my channel put a like to this video and a bell to know when next life will come out thank you all for watching thank you for thank you my moderators thank you people who commented Thank you people who are watching and writing every time I stream and I will see you from a different location, not in New York, not at 2 p.m. on Saturday, but on, at a different time. Don't forget to check notifications under community tab to know what's next and any other announcements. I was very happy to see you all and I'll see you all probably on Saturday from where? You shall see.